taking this opportunity to speak to the public through this medium because what I have to say cannot be turned maliciously against me or distorted. I have suffered severely in the past few weeks through the publicity that has been given me, of which I have not sought. I have had many hard knocks in my life, but the hardest to bear has been the masterly inactivity of people whom I wanted their friendship most. Adversity brought me new friends, friends whom I know are sincere. They come from the mass who had sympathy for a woman who was undergoing a great trial, not the so-called Sydney Society. I take this public opportunity as the only way I can to thank the innumerable people who have written to me. I have had more than a thousand letters. A number of them have been offering me a home. To these people, I am eternally grateful. Their unselfish actions are a marked contrast to those who did not hesitate to accept my financial help, but who have now excluded me from their visiting list. I have had a varied life, and I have seen much suffering. I went through the Blitz and through the Battle of Britain. I was an air raid warden, and I have helped on many occasions to bring out the maimed and twisted bodies from the rubble. I am very proud to have been able to have done this, because I feel, as an Englishwoman, it was my duty to do so. Perhaps if some of those who have turned against me could have seen a little of the suffering that I have seen in this last five years of this dreadful war, they may have had a little more kindness to have shown to me in my trial. I am not ashamed of anything I have done, and I can look everybody in the face. I wonder if they could do the same. Thank <laughs> you.